The claim of the Christian faith is that God has revealed himself to men by assuming the form of a man and by appearing in a particular time in a particular place. By this means, he permitted man to observe him, watch his behavior, see him under pressure, and ask him controversial questions. Seen God around lately? But there was a time when he was around. The Word became flesh, says the Gospel of John and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory." Now this is an astonishing claim. No other religion has ever made such a claim. No fuller revelation of deity seems to be possible than for God to come in person and let men see what he is like. Surely this is better than mere writings. Surely this is better than the testimony of prophets. Surely this is better than visions granted to a few men that God should become a person, take his place in time and space in the full light of history, and under the full observation of man who lived at the same time. This idea is called the Incarnation, and it is the central idea of Christianity. This is not reincarnation, which is something entirely different. The Incarnation. God became a man in the person of Jesus of Nazareth. I always feel myself at a loss in trying to communicate the staggering and novel nature of this claim. Sometimes I ask myself, how can you tell a barber that this is so? When you go into the chair and you sit down and you say, did you hear about the Jewish rabbi that thought he was God? What's the punchline to that? He was right. Our question must be, is this claim true? If it is, we have in our knowledge of Jesus of Nazareth the fullest possible information about the character, the wishes, and the expectations of God. We often identify the essence of the Christian faith with certain dogmas which must be proved true, or with certain duties which must be shown valid and justifiable. That is, if you try to explain to your friends what is the essence of the Christian faith, You'll begin with certain doctrinal statements which you think you have to show are correct. Or you will begin with a handful of ethical regulations. And you think that if you can show those regulations as valid, you will have vindicated the Christian faith to your friends. But it is more simple than that. The essence of Christianity is the statement that something happened. It may be difficult to defend a creed of dogmas or a code of duties. But what Christianity is concerned with is a series of alleged events, and the question must be, did they happen or not? This is our starting place. <laughs>